Now to GMA Money Smart. Food prices are soaring up nearly 9% from last year, and the USDA predicts they could rise up to 5% this year. One Colorado mom tackles a problem with fridge hacks that have saved her as much as $400 a month at the grocery store. Ariel Reshef has her story. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, Michael. Prices are definitely grim at the grocery. Those food increases are the highest in decades. So one mom and dietitian is sharing her secrets, and she says stretching your dollar starts in your fridge. Okay, I have to tell you about this amazing fridge organization hack. It's the refrigerator food hack that registered dietitian and mom of two, Alyssa Miller, says is a foolproof way to lower food waste. This is my need to use bin that lives right here all the time. I put food in it, not necessarily leftovers, but food that I need to eat before it goes bad. She says reorganizing her fridge, labeling the shelves, and adding that need to use bin has saved her $300 to $400 a month on groceries. I needed to figure out a way to make sure I was using all of the food I was buying. It's more for those foods that need to be eaten in the next day or two because they're kind of like on the clock. Give us a practical example of how you use your need to use bin. Every week I sweep through my fridge and I just look for anything that's on its last few days. So maybe it's a cucumber I had half cut up for a salad earlier that week. And I know that it's about to start go, to go slimy. So I'll put it in that need to use bin. So I put this to the test at home, sorting through my fridge. I created my need to use bin because these berries are on their last leg and I wanna make sure I feed them to my kids for a snack before they go bad. This cauliflower rice back here is almost expired. So I got the cheese that needs to get used and the avocado to remind myself to make some Mexican cauliflower rice soon. Way back here behind the marinara sauce was a little apple cider hiding and it needs to go over by its friends in the side door here so that we actually use it. Alyssa says divide up foods by category and put them all in clear bins you can easily access so you don't leave items to go bad all the way in the back. Take inventory of your fridge once a week to make sure you're not buying items you already have. And if you find yourself overbuying at the store, walk us through some of the best ways you see families can save. Number one is meal planning. Having some sort of plan really does save you money. And if you're anything like our family, we go through berries by the ton. And I know that they are very expensive. They can go bad quickly. So from now on, we're going to use our need to use bin. And I'm going to put my berries in the need to use bin. I actually started implementing this after talking to Alyssa last night. And guess what? I had berries for breakfast this morning. And, and Alyssa also says labeling those clear bins in your fridge can save you time and money. And you do not need a fancy label maker, Michael. You can just use good old fashioned tape with some Sharpie. And hey, there you can see it. And you are very, berries are very expensive. You don't need all those. I'll take a few off your hand. <laughs> I'll okay. share. But, but what other tips did you learn from Alyssa? Well, beware of buying in bulk. It can be compelling, especially those perishable items. But if you are tossing half of that bag out, then buying the smaller one may actually be a better idea next time. Also, try using frozen, jarred, and canned foods. They have a much longer shelf life. And of course, cardinal rule, do not go to the grocery store when hungry. you're hungry. You got to have a plan. <laughs> I always do this and I always end up impulse buying. That's my favorite time. Get the cookies and all that. I wouldn't buy them any other way. All right, Ariel, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.